everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys we're going to repaint another big styling doll head I don't really know why but for me working on this big styling doll heads always goes in periods like sometimes I repaint them all the time and release new makeovers every month and sometimes I just forget about them and I don't repaint any big styling doll heads for a very 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 long period of time like now for example I don't even remember when I repainted the last styling doll head I repainted Disney princess heads for a while but a real big styling doll head that looks like a human I haven't repainted I don't know for years probably and that's why I went online and I've bought this beautiful black lady and today we will give her a complete makeover. Actually, I think she looks quite ugly, I don't know why, but she gives me some serious uncanny valley situation happening. Really, I don't know, there is something wrong about her, something in her eyes, I don't even know what. Uh, her hair is a real, actual afro hair, so it will be very interesting for me to try working with afro hair for the first time. And this is probably the first black styling doll head that I will repaint on my channel. Oh my god, what, what a shame, really, sudden realization. I repainted a big uh, black doll years ago, but it was again more like a child's uh, toy. And this is the first real styling doll hat that looks like a real black lady. And I promise you, black lady, I will make you look very, very, very pretty in the beginning of this video. She has everything for this. Like, I mean, her face is beautiful, but just her makeup, especially her eyes, make her look a little bit strange. So, let's start the makeover, really, I've been missing working on these big dolls, it's always quite a special experience for me, because it's completely different than repainting uh, tiny Barbie and Monster High faces, so it's gonna be fun, I really hope you love these kind of makeovers as well. If you do, please don't forget to like this video, of course, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the bell button to get notified about new doll makeovers. I upload new doll repaint videos or every week Friday or every second week Friday. So, this being said, let's start working! So, this is the doll from up close, and you know guys, I think I get this uncanny valley vibes from her. Because of the way her eyes are sculpted, you can see, they're kind of going down, I don't know, it looks very strange, not very human-like. I don't know why they sculpted it like this, but it is what it is, you know, I can work with it, so let's wipe her face off with acetone, and let's start the makeover. Good, the face is gone, I've sprayed it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and while the sealant is drying I can select the pastels I will use for this makeover. And the main rule while working on deeper skin tones is to stay away from white pastels because it will make the face look ashy and chalky and not natural and cute looking at all. 
We need obviously deep chocolate colors to create the shades, maybe a little bit of black to deepen up the brown in certain areas, but I won't use black alone on the skin. And for the highlights I will use bronzy and peachy colors, so let's begin. First I sketch the eyebrows, the eyes and the lips are already here, so that was easy for me. And then I started applying highlights and shadows. And I know guys, <laughs> those highlights look very scary now, this is exactly what I was talking about, the ashy and chalky effect. But you will see, once I seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant, this lighter base will become see-through and we will get a very nice natural looking bronzy shade, just a little bit lighter than her original skin tone. It will look good, I promise you, we just need to trust the process. <laughs> have brown eyes first of all because this is natural I don't know this is the most common eye color for people with dark skin and secondly because I've probably never made big doll heads with brown eyes or at least I don't really remember doing it I was tempted for a second to give her piercing blue eyes because I think that this is quite a rare combo of dark skin and blue eyes and I think this is simply the prettiest face type in the world. You know these dark skin people with piercing blue eyes, really beautiful, but then I stopped myself because I have made already enough dolls with blue eyes, so let's make a normal, regular looking black lady with brown eyes.
Okay, this is the face. I think she already looks very real, very beautiful, but now I still need to make her hair look pretty because it's all messy after being protected with this plastic. And you know, I have literally zero experience working on afro hair, so please don't expect miracles in this part of the makeover and also please don't roast me too, too hard for it, but let's make her hair look cute. Voila, this is the finished hair, I think it suits her, it makes her very cute, very alive. Now I will attach false lashes, apply a layer of acrylic gloss to her eyes and lips to make her even more real, and then I'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished doll and I think the before and after pictures look very, very, very satisfying, at least to me. She looks very real, very alive right now and you know who she reminds me a little bit? Simone Biles, <laughs> I don't know, the genius gymnast, I think they're sort of look alike, not exactly, but I don't know, I kind of get the vibes, or maybe just me being excited about Simone's uh, phenomenal comeback after all the challenges she went through, I don't know, it can be just me. It's a pity that this doll doesn't have typical African features, I mean like wider nose, bigger lips, it would be interesting to work on it, but I simply couldn't find a mannequin head like this online in Belgium, but I will keep looking, so it will be one of the upcoming projects. So guys, and what do you think about this makeover? Please let me know in the comments under this video, and if you want to buy this doll, you can find her on eBay for three days, the link is in the description under this video. Video. 
So guys, that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And yeah, that was it. I will see you next week Friday or in two weeks on Friday. I'm not sure about it yet. And a new doll makeover video. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.